Hi, my name is Cassidy, and I'm doing a math problem from a math class, and it's how to figure out what y equals 3x minus 1 by graphing 5 points on a graph and making a line. Okay, first you're going to start off by making a table, starting off with x, and then you're going to want to pick 5 easy points to use. So you're going to use like negative 2, negative 1, 0, 1, and 2. And then you're going to plug your x's into your equation to figure out y is. So you're going to have your y ta uh, like your y table. So you're going to have your 3x minus 1 over here. So you're going to fill it in for 3 times negative 2 minus 1. Then you're going to have 3 times negative 1 minus 1, 3 times 0 minus 1, 3 times 1 minus 1, and 3 times 2 minus 1. So you just plugged in all your x values in your 3 and then in for this x um, equation the y equals you just plugged in all your x's in so now you're going to figure out what y is so 3 times negative 2 is negative 6 minus 1 is negative 7 3 times negative 1 is negative 3, minus 1 is negative 4, and then 3 times 0 is 0, minus 1 is negative 1, 3 times 1 is 3, minus 1 is 2, and 3 times 2 is 6, minus 1 is 5. So now you have all your x values and your y values, so make another table of just your x and y. So it would be negative 2 and negative 7, negative 1 and negative 4, 0 and negative 1, 1 and 2, and 2 and 5. You can also put in points 1 or point A, point B, point C, point D. So I'm just going to put them in so you know. Okay, now you're going to have to graph these on a graph. You're going to put your points on here. And since your highest number is a 7, so I made 7 lines going up and 7 lines going to the right and left. So negative 2 minus 7, so you go over 2, go down 7, it's right there, and I'm going to point point A, and then negative 1, negative 4, negative 1, go down 4, point B, uh, 0, negative 1, so over here, go down, Make it kind of big so you can see it since I didn't use a different color. And then 1 and 2, so go over 1, up 2. So that's point D. And then 2 and 5. And that's E. Then you want to get a straight edge or something to connect your lines. I didn't use a straight edge, but then it makes your line. And that's how you figure out by graphing your five points by plugging it into your equation, getting your x and y's, and then you put the bottom on your graph, and then you take a straight edge and you make the line. And that's all you do.